So I found something at the grocery store that I never saw before. This is gonna be interesting. Hi, I'm Stacy, and on today's Savor It with Stacy, I'm gonna do something I have never done before. I'm gonna make a recipe for the very first time and record it. Why? Well, because I found the coolest ingredient at the grocery store when I was shopping earlier this week. It's lion's mane. Now, I've heard all about it. I've seen it in powdered supplements, but I never saw the actual mushroom itself. Pretty cool looking, right? It's a medicinal mushroom. I think some people take it for concentration. And I hear it has a sweet and savory profile that resembles the texture of crab meat. So I'm thinking, let's make a vegan plant-based crab cake. Wish me luck. The first thing we're gonna do is actually prep the lion's mane. What we're gonna do is you're gonna need about a pound's worth, about 16 ounces, and you're gonna pick apart the lion's mane, of course, after you washed it, uh, into pieces to resemble crab meat. And that's exactly what it does. It's flaky, it's got like this really soft texture. People take this for stress relief. Athletes call this natural Gatorade because they say it can be energy boosting after really hard workouts like lifting heavy weights, those HIIT exercises, CrossFit, and it has some anti-inflammatory properties. So it's reported. Okay, so now that we got all that prepped, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a medium saute pan and we're gonna add this to the saute pan with two tablespoons water and some salt. We're gonna bring it to a simmer and we're gonna let the mushrooms wilt a little bit to give up all of their juice. And then we'll allow them to cool and squeeze that juice out. Again, this is very important, this step, because unlike crab, the mushrooms contain a lot of water and we don't want soggy crab cakes. So in you go, I've got two tablespoons of water. I've got a little bit of salt. Okay, and we're just gonna get this up to a simmer and cover that. So I'm just gonna check on these. This part will only take about a couple of minutes. What you're really looking for is to get more liquid into the pan than when you first put in the water, because you want the natural water in the mushroom to release in the pan. Oh, are you making a, a cameo? Please, make yourself at home. I don't need a sous chef today. Move along, good girl. Okay, see you later. Gotta love animals. Oh yeah, see, that's a lot of water released. Okay, so what I wanna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let the mushrooms cool. Then we're gonna squeeze out as much of the water as we possibly can. And again, this is a very important step because unlike crab, mushrooms contain a lot of water. We do not want soggy crab cakes. But while that's happening and they're cooling, let's go ahead and make the crab mixture where all the flavor and the binding elements are gonna be. So we're gonna combine one egg. Now, if you want this to be completely vegan, what you can do is a flax meal water mixture, or you could use an avocado as your binder. I'm just gonna break it up a bit. Okay. Then we're going to take about a tablespoon of aquafaba mayo, or any vegan mayonnaise that maybe um, can be your store-bought swap. Then we have a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We have one teaspoon Worcestershire. We have one teaspoon Old Bay. Oh yeah, love me some Old Bay. You're gonna do a tablespoon of fresh, finely chopped parsley. About, not even half an onion, finely chopped. And then a quarter teaspoon salt and fresh ground black pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to give this a nice stir. Okay, so these are cooling. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the lion's mane and the water into my little nifty colander that sits in a bowl. 
so I can get some of the moisture out and draining. And then I'm gonna make sure this is cool enough and squeeze it all out. All right, see how we already have this draining. All right, good. But look at, I mean, that's a lot of water. I don't even have much in my hand. All right, so this is what we wanna get out. I'm almost done here. All right, so it's done. Let me get this out of the way. Put that right into the mixture. I want to fold that in to the crab. And then what we're going to do, you can do regular breadcrumbs if you want, but I like panko breadcrumbs. And we're going to add that in as our binder to the crab meat. Or, sorry to the lion's main meat. Oh, it really does look like the real deal. All right. So get that mixed up really well. This is where gadgets are just awesome because I'm gonna use ring molds to help form my crab cakes to keep them even and hold their shape. If you don't have them, you're gonna use your hands. But I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the fancy little tools I have in my kitchen. Yeah, this consistency feels really good. And there we go. The perfect size crab cake. Now that these are formed, we're gonna go ahead and lightly dredge them in flour and then we're gonna get them into the frying pan. This should be hot enough. And then gently add this to the pan. Delicate little suckers. Okay. Just be very careful. Uh-oh, this one's getting a little bit away from me in terms of holding its shape, but that's okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna pop these into the oven for about 10 more minutes. Now the perfect way you can serve this, of course, is a good old crab cake or lion's mane sandwich. Or make it more like an entree, especially at lunch. So what I went ahead and did is I went and made a little arugula salad because I like the pepperiness of the arugula. And it's a light lemon vinaigrette, really super easy with some Parmesan Reggiano. What I went ahead and did is made my own uh, tartar sauce. So a little bit of the aquafaba mayo, a couple of tablespoons, a sprinkle of Old Bay and some salt. And then, I don't know, about a teaspoon of dill pickle relish and I mix it up. Finally, need a little wedge of lemon and a fork. All right, time to give it a try. Mm. That's really good. I'm actually kind of proud of myself first time doing this with you. So good. Same texture, definitely all the way as a crab cake. Picked up, you know, those seaside flavors with the old bay. Even though this is a mushroom, it doesn't have that mushroom flavor like you would normally have with a portobello or a shiitake. So, I don't know. Again, a nice vegan plant-based alternative. So crab cakes for everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and don't miss another episode of Savor It with Stacy. See you later.